and beat the absolute snot out of Navy. Navy is <laughs> absolutely free falling right now. We talked about it. I mean, we said on the show kind of jokingly, but we were like, oh, like, like the game against Notre Dame where they had five turnovers and they got smacked. It's like, oh, is that the game that's going to break Navy? And dude, kind of. I mean, they are free falling right now. I know they played some pretty decent teams these last couple weeks, but man. Tulane looks good. Makai Hughes, brother, oh my God. Is he just lighting it up these last, I don't know, five, six weeks? He's nuclear. I think he's got 10 touchdowns in his last six games or something like that. Ridiculous. He's only got 15 touchdowns on the year. So he is he is going absolutely bonkers. This offense is in rhythm. I know, like you said earlier before, like, are they playing amazing teams? Maybe not. But when you're looking at the college football playoff picture, if Boise State, for some reason, you know, finds a loss somewhere, okay, you know, and and Tulane wins out and they beat Army, like, it's hard to not put Tulane in there, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I took uh, Makai Hughes with our last pick in our redshirt sophomore draft and our fantasy draft in our offseason. So I've been happy about that. But yeah, I mean, Tulane's a good football team. I took him to, I put him on our best bets. I took him to win and cover, obviously, in this game. And so I'm not going to take too much away from this, and, and other than the fact that Tulane is playing really good football. And very happy for John Summerall. I'm not surprised at all. I do think. I think they're interesting because Mahi- Mikai Hughes gets a lot of hype, but Mensah has been playing a solid football, and there's talent at that wide receiver position. Shaz Preston, former Alabama commitment, or transfer, obviously, Mario Williams has been very highly recruited and regarded. Um, so th- it's, an, it's an interesting roster there offensively, and their defense obviously pitched a shot out against an offense that can be tricky, and give them credit for that on the road as well. Yeah, that was a good pick by you with the Makai Hughes. And the thing was, is like you were so pissed because I took Javon Jackson with the pick before, and you were like, dang it, you friggin'. And then, like, oh, I guess I'll pick uh, Makai Hughes. Yeah, kind of worked out there. Makai Hughes is an absolute dog, dude. He's an absolute dog. And I mean, hun- it's a good team. 113 yards, total yards for Navy, eight first downs. And Tulane did what Navy wants to do, and they control time of possession. I mean, 35 minutes? I know, like, I know, like we said, yeah, against Navy is super impressive. I know, like we said, Navy is in free fall, and they're not a top 25 team like they were ranked at one point. So this win isn't going to look as impressive as maybe we once thought it would. But, man, oh, man, you just got to keep getting credit, credit to Tulane. Like I said earlier, nobody wants to play them, and they're going to have chances down the stretch. They're going to have chances down the stretch to, you know, bolster their – Quote-unquote resume, I mean, I think people still respect Memphis, right? It's a team that's 9-2, and two, by the way. Memphis is 9-2, and two, so they're on by, and so is Tulane this week before they'll meet. Um, those two teams have clinched the American Championship. So we do know who's going to be playing each other. It is Army and it is Tulane, um, obviously with a potential playoff spot on the line, but especially what happens here this week with Army and Notre Dame. I'll tell you this. I really like Tulane in that spot. I think you're going to see some holes on that Army team kind of exposed. Because here's Army's schedule, by the way. Lehigh, FAU, Rice, Temple, Tulsa, UAB, East Carolina, Air Force, and North Texas so far. I know that some of those games they dominated in, but, like, yeah, I think that that Notre Dame game is going to be kind of a brutal wake-up call, and I will probably be betting on Notre Dame in that game. The difference, though, is the defense an Army plays, you know, versus Navy, where, like, that, that defense can give people problems legitimately. But East Carolina put up some points, you know. 